Now we'll look at two examples of determining if functions are odd, even, or neither. To review, if a function is even, then f of x must equal f of negative x, and the graph will be symmetrical across the y-axis. If a function is odd, then negative f of x will equal f of negative x, and the graph will have rotational symmetry about the origin, which means if we rotate the graph about the origin 180 degrees, the graph will remain unchanged. When determining whether a graph is odd or even or neither, I always like to look at the graph first. So here's the graph of f of x equals x to the fourth minus x squared minus three. Right away, we should be able to recognize that if we were to fold this graph across the y-axis, or this line here, the two halves would match up perfectly, and therefore this has symmetry across the y-axis, and therefore this function is even. However, we're often asked to show that it's even algebraically, which means you want to show that f of x is equal to negative x. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's determine f of negative x and see if it's going to be the same function as f of x. So f of negative x would be equal to negative x raised to the fourth minus negative x to the second minus three. So f of negative x is equal to, well negative x to the fourth is going to be positive because we have an even number of negatives. So that'll be x to the fourth minus negative x squared is going to be positive x squared minus three. Well notice that f of negative x and f of x are equal to each other. f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus x squared minus three. And therefore, once again, we've shown that the given function is even. We've shown it graphically. We've also shown it algebraically. And there is one more thing to mention. If we take a look at all the variables on the exponents, and if we had to have a variable on three, we could write this as three x to the zero, since x to the zero is equal to one. Notice all the exponents on all the variables are even, zero, two, and four. And when this is the case, the polynomial function will always be even which we've already shown. Let's take a look at a second example. Here we have f of x equals one half x to the third minus two x. Again, let's start by looking at the graph of the function, which we can quickly see does not have symmetry about the y-axis, but it does have rotational symmetry about the origin, which means if we rotate this graph about the origin half a turn or 180 degrees, it would remain unchanged this green half would be where the blue half is, and the blue half would be where the green half is. So because of the symmetry about the origin, we know this function is going to be odd. But algebraically, we would need to verify that negative f of x is equal to f of negative x. And let's go ahead and do that. We want to show that negative f of x is equal to f of negative x. Let's start with f of negative x f of negative x, we'll substitute negative x for x in our function, so we'd have one half negative x raised to the third minus two times negative x. So we'd have, this would be negative one half x cubed. If we have an odd number of negatives, the product will be negative. And this is going to be plus two x. We want to compare this to the opposite of f of x or negative f of x. So the opposite of f of x, we're going to change the sign of each term on the right side of this function. So we would have negative one half x cubed and then plus two x. If we compare these two functions, notice how they're equal. Therefore, we have just verified that negative f of x is equal to f of negative x. Therefore, the function is odd, which we already knew graphically. And there's one more thing to mention here. Because we have a polynomial function and each term has an odd exponent on the variable, this would be x to the first, this indicates the polynomial function would be odd. We'll take a look at two more examples in the next video.